Welcome back, I'm Marie Zeitner with the Reaver Beat. Many students call Iowa Western home, literally. Hundreds of students live on campus. I took a tour of each of the three buildings and found what students like best about their home away from home. Living on campus is a big change for students. You get to interact with new people and get a, that feeling of just you're on your own and that independence. That independence comes in three different facilities. Each have their own unique atmosphere and certain requirements for the 1,200 students who live on Iowa Western's it's, campus. It, the bricks is like all guys. Football player Michael Neens stays in the tower where only male athletes can live. So I'd rather see some females, you know, go to the suites or come to the library or something and hang out with other people. One resident assistant tells me the tower's layout is typical of what a college dorm room would look like. It's just two beds and a wardrobe for each of the, the rooms and then a desk for each of the, the residents and that's all. Depending on what kind of place students want to live, they have three options from which to choose. As for the requirements, only second year students can live in the apartments. There's two bedrooms in the apartments. Four people live in each apartment, so two people would share one bedroom and two people share another bedroom, and then they all share the bathroom and the kitchen and the living room. Six buildings hold 48 apartments, all girls in one half and all guys in the other. The suites are co-ed. It's four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a common area, but the common area doesn't have a kitchen or anything like that. It's just space for a couch and a TV and things like that. For students who want to have the full college experience, the suites offer fun for residents. I like living in the suites because um, the staff and the RAs like to get everyone involved and make new friends. I really enjoy the fact that I live so close to everybody because I made a lot of friends in the suites. Students living in the suites get their own room and closet, but they still have to share everything else. So where is the best place for you? The tower and suites require a meal plan because they don't have kitchens. They also have a computer lab so students don't have to go to the cyber library. No meal plan is required for the apartments, each have their own kitchen. All three have their own laundry facility where it's a dollar to wash, a dollar to dry. So let's add it all up. The tower costs nearly $3,000 a semester including a meal plan. The apartments are almost $2,000 but add a meal plan and it's almost $3,000. The suites is the most expensive, coming in at almost $4,000 with a meal plan. Some students say they wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I just like this place, period. Like, damn, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Suites 2 is currently being expanded and will open two additional wings for fall of 2013. All three facilities have their own unique features, so checking them out before you move in will help you find the right one for you. According to cleanair.com, every year Americans throw away enough paper and plastic cups, spoons, and forks to circle the equator 300 times. Too often, recyclables are being thrown away in landfills. Shanti Shaknoza digs for answers about Iowa Western's recycling strategy. On the campus of Iowa Western, everywhere you look, you can see and hear it turns green. Iowa Western recycling activists started the group Going Green. The students are working to bring attention to recycling on campus. You know, recycling is just basically the bare minimum, um, but I know a lot of students don't do that. So I think that the, if you use those recycle bins um, at the, in the vending machines, those are for the bottles and cans, and the vending or the recycle bins in the classrooms, that's for paper. Their mission to reduce unnecessary waste. Well, the mission of the Green Student Club is uh, um, to promote sustainability on campus, which includes recycling um, and other events that happen through, like Earth Day events and so forth. The students care about the environment and say, the more people recycle, the better everyone can shape the future. Honor students take care of recycling around the campus. Council Bluffs Recycling Center comes every week to pick up the plastic waste. For the River Beat, I'm Shanti Shachnoza. Back to you, Marie. To find out what you can recycle, you can contact the Council Bluffs Recycling Center by phone at 712 328 4985. Coming up on campus, if you're looking for an internship or to volunteer, January 30th, there will be a diversity and volunteerism fair in the Student Center from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m.
Saturday, February 2nd, the Iowa Miss Amazing Pageant will be held in the Arts Center on campus. Come support these incredible ladies with disabilities. For more information, go to www.missamazingpageant.com. Remember to like us on Facebook. For The Reaver Beat, I'm Marie Zeitner. See you on campus.